guys so I am back with a new video today is gonna be kind of weird I've never done a video like this so recently I went to Texas I just got back on Thursday and it's Monday right now so I've been back for the weekend and normally I do a vlog but I literally got like 10 clips out of the whole entire trip I went for three days and I barely vlogged like I literally barely vlogged so my thought was what if I sat down ate some lunch did a story time type of video I know story times are very specific and they're very funny to watch but what if I thought was I was gonna sit down here and talk to you guys about my trip like I would with any of my friends with my boyfriend my par my parents and who knows, maybe this will be a fun video to watch. I'm hoping it's only like 10 minutes long. I don't want this to be a long video whatsoever. So yes, that's kind of what I thought I could bring these vlog clips that I got incorporated into a video because if I put it into a legit vlog, the vlog will probably be like two minutes. <laughs> I literally got like no clips of this. And I just kind of wanted to sit down and tell you guys about my trip because I had so much fun. So I've never done a video like this, so I don't really know. Like I'm gonna try to eat at the same time of explaining because I'm starving. It's two o'clock, I haven't ate any food today. So I need to eat, but I also need to film these videos. I have two videos to film. So during pauses, I'm gonna eat because I'm starving. <laughs> but let's just jump into the video. So the first day, it was Monday. It was actually my boyfriend. And it's five year anniversary and I totally forgot when I scheduled the trip that it was our anniversary. So it was too late to like request like to change the trip. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but I went on the plane. I actually got really sick on the plane. So I normally take Dramamine, which helps with like motion sickness. And usually when I'm on planes, I usually do, do planes that are fairly early in the morning. And I normally don't eat breakfast, I normally don't eat around like noon. So for me to eat at like 5 in the morning is very difficult for me. So I only try to eat maybe like a cup of fruit at the airport and drink some like water or coffee. So usually when I'm on airplanes I get really sick. And I've been taking Dramamine for my last two plane rides and it's worked wonders. I don't get sick anymore. It works so great. So before I board I try to take Dramamine. And of course I got like this little thing of lemonade that I already drank like halfway through. So when I was trying to take the pills, they weren't going down. <laughs> you know when that happens, they just don't go down. That was like what was happening. So, and then I finished my drink, so they didn't dissolve quickly. And then the pill taste was in my mouth the entire flight. And since it didn't actually get in my system, the Dramamine didn't work. So I got very sick on the plane. I was editing in my Ariana Grande vlog. If you haven't watched, please go watch that video. I was editing that video and halfway through, I like was gonna throw up. So I just stopped and watched movies for the rest of the flight because I was going to die. <laughs> so that was my plane experience. Um, and then my aunt picked me up. So I guess I should say why I went to Texas because I have not said that yet. So my aunt, um, she means the world to me. We are 10 years apart, so we're very close. I love her to death. She has been my role model in s for so many years. I love my aunt so much. She means the world. And three years ago, she gave birth to a baby girl. But her name is Riley. She is the cutest human being in the world. And I normally try to go to Texas every, um, every summer. That's what I'll say. But last summer, we went for Thanksgiving and then the summer happened and I just didn't feel like I needed to go because I just basically went six months ago. So I decided not to go last summer, which was kind of a huge mistake. I really did wish I went. So this summer, I was like, I have to go because I haven't been in basically two years. So that's why I went to Texas to visit my family. We didn't do much, but that's okay because I just really wanted to spend time with my family. So. I'm gonna take a bite. <laughs> so when I got off the plane, my aunt picked me up from the airport. Um, she lives near Austin, Texas in that area. I'm not gonna say the location, but 
She lives near Austin, Texas. We went to HEB first, which is like a grocery store if you don't know. And it is like a huge grocery store. So we went to HEB, we got tons of groceries. She let me pick out sushi. Thank you. <laughs> and then uh, since I had my flight early in the morning, I was exhausted. So we came home and I actually took like a two hour nap. And then we got Riley from the babysitter and she was so adorable. Once like she like woke me up, she was Kay, you're here. And I was like, hi, Rai. And he's just the cutest human being ever. And then we ate pizza for dinner. We ate Marco's pizza. I thought it was a Texas joint, but I just saw one in Longmont, Colorado yesterday and I was kind of like, what? That's weird. But it's actually really good pizza. Really, really good. So then it was bedtime after, oh, we did watch Detective Pikachu um, after dinner, but I fell asleep during the whole movie. I don't know why, but I was so exhausted this whole entire trip. Literally, I slept this entire trip, but it's okay. <laughs> so I slept during the movie, and then it was time for bedtime. We read Riley a book, which was super cute. She loves story time, obviously. What kid doesn't? And then we went to bed. So, day two. This was Tuesday. Literally, we did like nothing this day, <laughs> but it was very relaxing. So I slept in, well, so I slept in till nine, and then Riley came in my room, and she was like, okay, hey, it's time to wake up. I was like, it is. And she was like, yes, we got lots to do. I was like, what do we gotta do? She was like, we gotta play. And so, I can't say no to a cute three-year-old, but if it was literally anyone else, I've been like, leave me alone. So we, I woke up, then we played for like probably 30 minutes to an hour, very fun. And then I napped again till noon. <laughs> and then around noon, we went to Target. I got this really cool SpongeBob t-shirt because who doesn't love SpongeBob? Oh, uh, Target was really fun. We got Riley a toy and a book and some clothes. And then we went to Chick-fil-A, which is one of the best places in the world. Um, and then we went home and I literally napped again. Um, and then we played some more because Riley's a three-year-old and she loves to play. And then uh, it was time for dinner. We ate salmon. Uh, we got these cool like ready to meal, ready meals, like that you just put in the oven at H-E-B. It was so good. And then, um, when everyone went to bed, I was like wide awake because I practically napped all day. So I ate some watermelon and I watched The Bachelorette. So this is day three, it was Wednesday and it was actually my last full day, last day. So this day was probably the funnest day. We went to a water park, we went to Slitterbawn, I think is what it's called. It is like the world's largest water park, and it's ginormous. <laughs> that water park is so big. Um, so we went because we were gonna go to the pool, and then my aunt's husband was like, why don't you guys just go to the water park? Because Riley would love that. So we're like, hey, might as well. So we went to the water park. That was probably the funnest time ever. She was so cute at the water park. Um, it was funny because she would get up on the slides. So we were in the, kid, the kids area, obviously. But she would get on the slides and she like would be so scared to go. So we would go down with her and there's this one picture. If, if I want to put it in, I'll put it in. I don't know if I want to because it's kind of embarrassing. But we went down this one slide. It was like the biggest slide there. And she wanted to go down with me. So like I grab her and I'm like, okay, are you ready? And she goes, yeah, and then we go. But since it's like a weight difference, like a kid when it like like get drowned <laughs> like since I'm a weight difference I go a lot faster and I went so fast down that I biffed it at the end it was probably the funnest thing ever I got we got soaked so that was fun we went on a couple different um slides with her I didn't vlog at all this day actually um so sorry about that um <laughs> but I have tons and tons of pictures and I'll insert some pictures or uh, throughout the video so yes, the water park was a lot of fun. Um, then we went on a lazy river after probably a couple hours on the in the pool. 
the lazy river was so much fun so they have like these tubes that are bought or that have bottoms to it so kids can just lay in them and she's just like laying in the tube just like relaxing she's so cute I really wish I could have brought my phone like in the water but I didn't have a waterproof case or I would have taken a picture of her because she was so cute and then in some sections the lazy, the lazy river would go so fast and we were like boom it was really fun so it, that was fun and then afterwards we ate some dip and dots um, oh, me and my aunt did get an alcoholic drink. It was so good. It was like a margarita sangria swirl. I'll answer that picture because it was so good. So good. <laughs> At least I think I have a picture of it. So that was the water part. Then after that, we napped. Literally, I napped for two hours. Riley didn't nap at all. I napped for two hours because I was very tired. Um, and then we did dance. It was so funny. Should we put on some tunes and had a little dance party? It was really cute. And then we went to Taco Cabana. So we went to Taco Cabana. If you guys don't know, Taco Cabana, I don't know if it's just Texas, but in that area. I've only found it in Texas, but I haven't really been in any places. Maybe like southern area. But Taco Cabana is so good. <laughs> this place is like the best fast food Mexican place ever. So every single time I go to Taco or every single <laughs> every single time I go to Texas, I demand Taco Cabana because it's so delicious. So we went on my last day. It was very good. I love that place so much. I usually get an enchilada plate and it's very delicious. And then it was probably about like eight, seven, eight o'clock. So then we FaceTimed with my parents. Um, Riley is so funny with my parents. She loves my parents so much, which is so cute. My dad like dresses up as a minion and he speaks like minion talk with her and she thinks it's the funniest thing ever. So after FaceTime with our parents, we did do some crafts. We made these cute little popsicle stick people and that took most of the night we probably spent an hour doing that so then we just went to bed my flight was at um 10 but i wanted to get to the airport at 8 to eat some food and it so at the airport when i was coming into austin i saw a smoothie place and i was like oh my god i want a smoothie when i fly out so i wanted to get there early so i could get like my smoothie relax i want to be like rushed eating my smoothie so then i got to the airport and everything was closed they were doing construction so i was so upset so i ended up getting a breakfast sandwich chai and a bowl of fruit and then i also got some water because gotta stay hydrated and then i flew back home it was a very good flight the dramamine did work this time so i didn't get sick and I watched To All The Boys I Loved Before, that movie, the best movie ever. I love that movie so much. So I watched that movie and then my dad picked me up from the airport and we got Popeyes for lunch and then I came home and napped. So yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. That was my Texas trip. Um, I had a lot of fun and I'm so grateful that I have this family in Texas. I wish they were closer, but it is fun to go down there and visit them. And I can't wait to go again. They are coming for my graduation in December, so I'll see them then and then I'll probably go in the summer again. <laughs> um, I do want to try to go more because I really want to be a part of Riley's life and I love that kid to death. Like I didn't think it was possible to love a kid. Oh, I totally forgot to mention. So when I was leaving for the airport, like coming back to Colorado, so I gave Riley a hug and I'm like, okay, Riley, I gotta go. And she was like, okay, and she starts crying. And I was like, oh my God, this kid is starting to cry. And I just started bawling. I was like, I'm gonna miss you so much. I love you to death. And like, me and I were just crying. And then I like, I'm like, okay, Riley, I love you. And then I go to my aunt to hug her and she was like, okay, hey, stop crying. And I was like, well, if it wasn't for your daughter, I wouldn't have cried. <laughs> Uh, but I love my family so much So yes, that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope this wasn't a odd video to film. I hope this was 
nice way to incorporate me eating lunch and the vlog clips into one video. Um, I didn't really eat lunch, I ate one enchilada, but I'm gonna eat now. <laughs> so thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Also, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, because I'm trying to get to 10K by the end of the year. I'm halfway there, and I'm not close. <laughs> so please follow me on Instagram. Also, subscribe and like this video, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!